and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about what I keep in my pencil bag. I'm always curious to see what other people have in their pencil bags or their makeup bags or their desk or whatever actually just did a what's in my desk or how it organized my desk video. I'll leave that link down below if you missed it. And um, I actually just got done doing a webinar with the Small Business Development Center. If you guys have a business or you're thinking about starting a business, I would really, really encourage you to look up your local small business development center in your area. It is literally a life changer. They provide webinars. You can have like one-on-one -on -one contact with people to like get feedback or like information on things like finances, business planning, um, marketing, like anything that you can think of. I just I think it's a great resource and it's definitely been very helpful when running a business. So this is the pencil bag that I have. Um, it says boss lady on it because, you know, I'm the boss lady. And I made this myself. I actually sell these on the Etsy shop. So they are customizable. You can get, um, you can get your name on it on either just one side or on both sides, depending on what you want. They start from about $12, and then if you want it double-sided, it would be around $15 plus shipping. So I'll definitely leave that link down below for you guys. It's a really nice material. It is a canvas type material. And what I basically do is I use heat transfer vinyl, and I just heat transfer it right on to the fabric and I also cut out the design using my Cricut machine. If you are interested in making things with the Cricut machine and would love to see like tutorial videos, please let me know in the comments below because I enjoy doing it. I think it's really fun and um, yeah, it's, it's a, just a great tool to use for so many different projects. It doesn't have to be a pencil bag. You can make like stickers with it. You can make um, like little tote bags that are super cute. Um, you can do so many different things with a Cricut machine. That's why I love it so much. Oh, Mr. James, he is here. Please don't make my camera fall. Thank you. So I keep white out. So definitely this is a must have because of um, you never know when you're going to make a mistake. I make mistakes all the time in writing things down on my calendar in life, you know, just the usual. Just wipe that, wipe that out. <laughs> um, the next thing I keep in here is these two prismatic or prisma, oh my goodness, I can't even talk today. Prisma color pens. So these are in the sizes C and 08. So I use these for notes in my um, on post its, or I use them for writing stuff down in my business journal, which this is also like an essential for me. I literally write down everything in here when it comes to product, ideas, Instagram content, hiring, web, all of that kind of stuff, finances, like the webinar I just did today on finances. I wrote down all of my notes in here. Um, and then some more pens that I have in here are these. So these are my favorite pens. I actually do not know what these are called um, because they're in some other language that I do not recognize. Um, but basically they're 3.8 millimeter pens and I love them. I bought them off of Amazon. I will leave them linked down below. And they come in like a bunch of different colors. So I always keep the four colors that I'm using for my color palette at the time in my planner. So since we're in February, I have my Valentine's Day colors here, two red colors, which is like a darker red and a lighter red, 
a pink color and a magenta purple color. Um, and I will use these for different things in my planner every week for the month of February. And then the next pen that I have in here is this really pretty gold pen that my mom got me. I actually do not know where she got this from, but I do love this pen. And what I love most about it is I actually call this my CEO pen um, because I actually signed my very first contract for the planner business with this pen. So it has a very special place in my heart and I will always keep it in my pencil case so that I know um, that I have it and I will sign any documents using that pen. The last thing that I have in here is my Apple pen or my Apple pencil. Um, and this is for my iPad. I do a lot of artwork. Um, sorry, there's somebody walking by. I do a lot of artwork and so I will use this for my digital paintings on Fresco. Um, I use Adobe Fresco. Um, and yeah, I'll also leave this link down below if you have an iPad and you are thinking about getting an Apple Pencil. It literally is a game changer. It's so awesome. I love working on my iPad. It's very like portable and compact and it's just easy to use. And then the last thing that I have in here are these lens and screen cleaning wipes. These are definitely an essential for me. So these are great for cleaning off camera lenses. They're great for electronics, such as like your computer, your iPad, anything like that. And then I also like using them for my glasses. So when my glasses get super dirty and I need something a little bit more than just the cleaning cloth provided by my eye doctor, I'll use one of these. And basically it is supposed to be really good for um, keeping the dust away off of your screens and stuff has like puts like a protection layer on your screen so that dust doesn't build up super fast all of this in here and I will put this in my purse or in my work bag when I'm going somewhere or to a meeting and they actually can fit a lot in here and you can actually use these as makeup bags too um so like if you don't need to carry pens with you anywhere or like anything like that, you can also put like your makeup or your chapstick, perfume, hand sanitizer, all of that good stuff in here. And um, it will all be in one place for when you pull it out of your bag. And this stuff will not come off. Um, if you did want to wash this, I recommend not putting it in your washing machine because I am not sure if the lettering would come off. I would hand wash it and then turn it inside out to let it dry. And then um, this is also great for kids that are going to school and need a pencil pouch to keep all of their pens and pencils in for the school year. Well, there you have it. That is everything that's in my pencil bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a like. Leave your comment with your suggestions down below, and make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can see any videos that we post here. We will post every single Wednesday, and yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Meet your names! Do you see friends? Monkey? What are you doing, my little baby? Or are you being a monkey? Oh, such a baby ham.